In the last lecture, we obtained the operating point of n channel J fat, the operating point of n channel J fat with fixed bias configuration, and for this purpose, we followed the mathematical approach. We followed the mathematical approach. And we already know there are two approaches to obtain the operating point. The first one is the mathematical approach and the second one, the second one is the graphical approach. Now in this presentation, we will follow the graphical approach to obtain the same operating point we obtained following the mathematical approach. And in order to follow the graphical approach, we need the Shockley's equation. We need the Shockley's equation and Shockley's equation is ID equal to saturated drain current IDSS inside the bracket 1 minus VGS by VP whole square. This is the Shockley's equation and let's say voltage VGS is equal to 0 volt. I will call it case number 1. Case number 1 when gate to source voltage is equal to 0 volt. When you put 0 volt in this equation, you will find current ID is simply equal to IDSS. The drain current ID is equal to IDSS, the saturated drain current. Now in second case, we will make ID equal to 0 amp. In case number 2, the drain current ID is equal to 0 amp. And in this scenario, you will find voltage VGS is equal to VP, the pinch of voltage. The third case is the final case and in this case voltage VGS is equal to VP by 2. Voltage VGS is equal to half of pinch of voltage. Now from this equation let's try to find out the drain current ID. The drain current ID is equal to IDSS inside the bracket 1 minus VP by 2 divided by VP whole square. VP and VP will cancel out. So we have IDSS 1 minus 1 by 2 whole square. 1 minus 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 square is equal to 1 by 4. So the drain current ID in case number 3 is equal to IDSS by 4. So we have these three cases and from these three cases we will have three points. The first point we will have from the case number one and the coordinates of the first point are zero and I DSS zero because VGS is equal to zero volt and I DSS because ID is equal to I DSS. From case number two we will have the second point and the coordinates are pinch of voltage VP and 0. From case number 3, we will have our third point. The third point is P3 and the coordinates are the coordinates are VP by 2. The pinch of voltage by 2 is the voltage VGS and the Y coordinate is IDSS by 4. IDSS by 4. And by using these three points, we will plot the transfer characteristics. The transfer characteristics is the plot between output current ID, drain current is the output current and voltage VGS which is the input voltage. So let's quickly plot the transfer characteristics using the three points we have. I will draw the Y axis. The Y axis is the axis of drain current ID in milliamp. Now we will plot the x-axis. The x-axis is the axis of voltage VGS in volt. I will divide the y-axis in eight equal levels. This is origin, first level, second level, third level, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth. The unit is milliamp, so this level here will represent 1 milliamp. This level here will represent 2 milliamp. In the same way, 3 milliamp, 4 milliamp, 5 milliamp, 6 milliamp, 7 milliamp, 
and 8 milliamp two quantities are always given with jfat and they are saturated drain current idss and the pinch off voltage vp idss is also the maximum jfat current idss is the maximum jfat current and let's say for this case idss is equal to idss is equal to 8 milliamp and the pinch of voltage is equal to minus 6 volt so i will divide the x axis in six equal parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 the unit is volt so this level here will represent minus 1 volt this one will represent minus 2 volt this one will represent minus 3 volt in the same way minus 4 volt minus 5 volt and minus 6 volt minus 6 volt is the pinch of voltage so this voltage here is the pinch of voltage vp this voltage now we will plot the first point p1 the two coordinates are 0 and idss the x coordinate is 0 volt and the y coordinate is equal to idss idss is equal to 8 milliamp so we have x coordinate equal to 0 volt and y coordinate equal to 8 milliamp when vgs is equal to 0 volt id is equal to idss so this is the first point p1 and now we will plot the second point the x coordinate is vp vp is equal to minus 6 volt so the x coordinate is minus 6 volt and the y coordinate is equal to 0 amp so when id is equal to 0 amp vgs is equal to vp minus 6 volt so this point here is the second point p2 and now we will plot the third point x coordinate is vp by 2 this means minus 6 by 2 which is equal to minus 3 volt so x coordinate is equal to minus 3 volt and the y coordinate is equal to idss by 4 idss is 8 milliamp so dividing it by 4 will give us 2 milliamp so these are the two coordinates minus 3 volt and 2 milliamp this is minus 3 volt and this is 2 milliamp i will plot the third point p3 and this is the third point p3 and now by using these three points i will simply plot the transfer characteristics i will change the color of the pen to plot the transfer characteristics i will first join these two points like this and then i will join p3 the third point and the first point p1 so this is how the plot will look and now we will move to the next part of this lecture in which we will find out the operating point if you see the circuit you will find out voltage vgs is equal to minus vgg where minus vgg is fixed vgg is the biasing voltage and because of this reason minus vgg is fixed so we will have one straight line one vertical straight line from this we know vgg vgg is the biasing voltage and we already know it so minus vgg we can easily plot on the x-axis let's say let's say this voltage here is minus vgg i will slide the board down so that i can write down minus vgg this voltage here is minus vgg and i will draw a vertical line like this and this vertical line will represent vgs equal to minus vgg and the point of intersection this point here is the operating point the q point this point is the operating point and to find out the corresponding current and voltage i will simply extend a horizontal line like this and the vertical line is already there which is giving us the x coordinate of operating point the operating point 
is having the x coordinate equal to minus vgg and the y coordinate is somewhere between 2 milliamp and 3 milliamp this current here is i dq which is between 2 milliamp and 3 milliamp so i dq we have obtained which is the y coordinate of operating point so in this way you can easily obtain the coordinates of operating point by the graphical method